Hi guys, so before I start this video, I wanted to let you know I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently than my previous resort um, review videos. In my past videos, I wouldn't just, I'd show the room and the grounds and the pool and all that fun stuff, and I'll do that, still do that in this video, but I would also um, show you guys the restaurants, like eating at the restaurants in the video, um, to try to keep the videos a little bit shorter in length, uh, any any time from now on, if I eat at a restaurant within the resort, it's going to be a separate video. So I am going to be eating at the PCH Grill um, here at Paradise Pier, and that will be in a separate video. But I will link that video at the end of this video, and I'll put a description um, below. Uh, in the description below, I'll put a link uh, once that video has been uploaded, so that you can easily find it. Um, okay. I'm gonna show you the room now. This is our room at Paradise Pier Hotel in Anaheim, California, Disneyland. Um, it's a queen bed room, so there's two queen beds. Sorry for the dimness there. Um, and it is a premium view. So I'm just gonna show you the view right off the bat. So from the room you can see Disney's California Adventure right there. And then when you turn over, you can see Disneyland back here and uh, the Grand Californian. So that's the Grand Californian Resort, which we already have a video up of. You can see Space Mountain, the Matterhorn. But the closest view really is California Adventure. So from this room, this view, you can see um, the evening shows that they do in both parks. So you can see the fireworks from Disneyland and you can see the water color show is the world of color is that what it's called um which is right here so it's a really great view what room are we jim we're in 1236 1236 so i think that since the side with the views of the parks the the building itself isn't that big so pretty much if you book a park view a premium view room it's going to be a good view yeah it's a great view of the cars land yeah, oh yeah, and Cars Land's right through there. So it'll be uh, up on a higher level and um, yeah, anyway. Very nice view, really, really, really happy with it. Okay, back toward the entrance of the room. Right um, off the bat, on the left we have a closet which has hangers, ironing board. Um, it looks like the hairdryer is actually in here. Is that the hairdryer? Yeah, hair dryer's in the closet, not in the bathroom. Extra blankets and pillow, and there should be an iron in here. Right there. Iron. Is there a safe? No. So, Disney World has safes, but I'm not seeing one here. But there's a possibility it might just be someplace else. So, we'll look around, see if there is a safe in just a different location. Because in Disney World, they're not always in the closet either. Sometimes they're in the dresser. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the bathroom now. This is a single sink bathroom, but they do give you all your fun little toiletries. So you've got conditioner and lotion and mouthwash and uh, what's this, a dental kit? And a shaving kit, that's nice. And there's a shower cap too. Oops. So it's actually more than what you get at a lot of the Disney World resorts. Um, and then over here we do have your facial soap and they put the um, ice bucket and cups in the bathroom since there's a lot of counter space. Um, here's the towels, toilet, and tub. And there is more soap in here as well. And they do have a slip mat. And the shower curtain theming is surfboards. We've got some nice beach chair wallpaper going on in here. Okay, and then to the right of the bathroom is a coffee maker. Is this a Cuisinart? It is a Cuisinart. With some tea and coffee and then um, all the little, you know, compliments, coffee compliments. And then some disposable coffee cups here. No mugs. Little waste basket below that. And we have our two beds. I love the little Pixar ball pillow. And we have a nightstand in between with an interim phone, clock, 
and just sort of a, the private dining, the room service menu right here, and a little pad of paper and pen, one drawer. I'm not seeing outlets here, so that's one. Okay, yeah, they have them on the actual clock here, but that's one thing we've kind of noticed with the Disneyland hotels is they do kind of need a little bit of updating in terms of outlets and things. Um, I love the lamps above the beds. It's really cute. But they still make sure you have, you know, a way to plug things in. It's just not as convenient as the Disney World ones, but they have been renovated. So makes sense why they have them, but Disneyland doesn't yet. Safe! They do have one right there. And the fridge is just below it. And then I assume these are just drawers to put your clothes in. Got littler ones and bigger ones. And then um, we got our flat screen TV here. And this really cute Mickey lamp above. Chilling in a beach chair. It looks like a lifeguard chair, except it doesn't say lifeguard. So I don't know, maybe he just really wanted a tall chair. This is a pullout so that you can sleep five in this room. We're not gonna pull it out, but they have instructions for you by chance you are using this. Got some fun beach art above the bed slash couch. A lamp right here with kind of a little bit of a, yeah, it's shaped like a surfboard, which is cute. And it's got a little bit of a kind of a shelf here to put a drink down on or something. And then we have a little work area, workstation with a lighthouse lamp. And here you do have um, some outlets, but again, it's dated. There's a phone jack, you know, there. Um, so yeah, the, the, the hotel needs a little bit of updating, but you shouldn't, you should still be okay plugging in your laptop or your phone. There's a nice big sun mirror there. And yeah, see so that pulls right out. We've got kind of a Mickey silhouette here, little drawer. <laughs> working away so um that's the room um and ignore <laughs> I just to, totally didn't say anything about these balloons and everything uh Jimmy surprised me with a little birthday package so normally the room does not come with this guys this is a separate separate uh feature that you can pay for and actually I'll have a video about this up I'll link I'll link to it um at the end of this video and I'll put it in the description too so yeah it's a it's a cute Cute room, I, I really like this. <laughs> how to swim. I love all those goofy how-to cartoons. So we'll show you the rest of the resort. Uh, I'll show you the pool, places to eat, um, the lobby, and how to get, most importantly, of course, how to get down to the parks. Okay, we're at the entrance of Paradise Pier Hotel. So this is where you would be um, dropped off if you're taking taxi or Uber or um, say if you want to do a valet, because they do offer valet. And through these doors, and this is the parking fee window and valet. And this will bring us into the lobby, where we are immediately greeted by Surfer Goofy. To the left of Goofy is the front desk check-in and check-out, unless you do express check-out, then no need for that. And to the right there is guest services. And just across from that is the bell services. And beside that is the Surfside Lounge, which has some breakfast items in the morning and um, bar in the evening. Um, and it does have a menu, like a full menu. Uh, focus. So we've got like salads and pizzas and um, looks like tacos and sandwiches and things like that, chicken and waffles. So it actually has a bigger menu than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be really, really light, small bites, but it actually has a full menu. I don't think we're gonna be eating in here at all, so we won't be able to tell you guys how it is, but um, there is another dining option, which is nice. And then there's some seating all along here. There isn't really a lot of seating in the main area of the lobby, but down, down this way there is. And then uh, we got some washrooms on the left here, and then straight ahead is the PCH grill which we have a separate video on for you guys so I'll put a link to that um, in the description at the end of this video right across like right to the right of 
the um, Surfside Lounge is Mickey's in Paradise, which is the gift shop. And it just has a good little variety of kind of what you'd find in the parks. Lots of Pixar stuff because um, this hotel is right across from California Adventure and Pixar Pier. And they've kind of lightly, I mean, the, the, the hotel is still called Paradise Pier, but they're kind of lightly theming it a little bit to Pixar by adding the Pixar ball on the beds and stuff. So, um, oh, how cute. It's a little macaroon bag. I haven't seen this before. Try a little macaroon bag, $24.99. Not um, the most convenient type bag. <laughs> like a little zipper right there, but it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I've got some toys and things. Cups. So, I mean, actually, it's a pretty good size gift shop, too. It keeps going. So, they got the seasonal stuff back here. And since it's almost September and approaching October after that, we've got some Halloween back here. I love this little onesie. <laughs> little onesie is $19.99. Um, and, ah, they sell strollers? Or are these rentals? Well, they sell these. Huh. That's cool. That's crazy. I don't think I've even seen that in Disney World. I think it's because there's so many stroller rental companies and stuff and Disney and Disney rents strollers in the parks and stuff. I, I don't know. I've never seen them sell them. That's interesting. Look at this sassy stitch mug. <laughs> we could try to break him. He's heavy. $22.99? It's his ear. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't look thrilled that you're drinking out of his head. <laughs> I do like the sleepy pillow stitch though. He looks comfortable. How much are you sleep? Oh, he's right there. It's $34.99. He's so cute. I just want to pet him and let him sleep. <laughs> um, so what else we have? We have our little convenience section. Of water and soda and juice and cocoa and cocoa. Nasquick, Lindsay. It's called Nasquick. And uh, beer and wine. And then you know, Advil and Huggies and stuff like that. So that's kind of the gist of the Mickey's in Paradise gift store, gift shop. <coughs> Just kind of got a nice little variety of stuff to bring home from your vacation. Okay, we're walking back through the lobby now, past some Sir Goofy. Past the um, check-in over here, and then to the right is are all of the uh, elevators up to the rooms, and it is the um, the touchpad type ones where it, you type in what floor you want to go to or what you're trying to go to. So it's kind of nice. It'll just say pool. Pool's on the third floor, but in case you didn't know that, you just hit pool. So same with laundry, fitness center. I think that's kind of nice in case you don't exactly remember where those things are. <laughs> they always have some water out here. Jimmy's getting some because it's pretty delicious. Look at all the goodies they stick in it. And there's just, for those of you who don't want anything too exciting, there's just plain water. <laughs> Which seems to be pretty popular. <laughs> I have seen people fill their thermoses with the plain water. Right across from the water. And next to the elevators, it's just this little, very ac room that has a giant sandcastle with Mickey cartoons on. And all these cute little kids' beach chairs. And then a couple of seats for adults. So, I guess if you're, you're going through the check-in process or waiting for your ride or whatever, it's a nice little room to watch cartoons in. I wanted to show this to you guys because I thought it was kind of cool. They have one of the um, old carousel. I mean, I'd call it a horse or a pony, but it's not. It's a dolphin. Mm -hmm. From the <laughs> and they say it's a dolphin <laughs> from King Triton's carousel that used to be in um, Disney's California Adventure. And they have one of them on display in here. It's so pretty. That was a really pretty carousel. 
for those of you who don't know, it was this really cool double-decker carousel. It is gone now, though. Okay, so if you keep walking down this hall, I'm gonna kind of turn around just to kind of give you guys another visual. So right back all that way, that was all the elevators on the left, so the, the cartoon room on the left, the water on the right, and then further up, check out on the right, um, check in, check out. So you just keep going down this hall, and you will get to the exit of Paradise Pier. You'll see a parking deck right in front of you. <laughs> um, and you make a right, and this will take you down to the parks. So I'm actually going to kind of walk it a little bit to show you guys. Um, it's not a long walk. From, from maps and stuff, I thought this was going to be a longer walk than it really is to get to downtown Disney. Uh, but it's really not bad. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's longer than if you were staying at, at the Disneyland Hotel, but not by very much. So, it just, to me, I don't know what, I don't know what it was, but just the way the map looked, it made it seem like it was a longer walk than it really is. So, so it's not, it's not a long walk at all. They do give you some signage to assure you that you're going the right way. So we are. <laughs> Got another little sign here. You know, theme parks and downtown is this way. So we cross this road here, which isn't active at all. It's mainly cast. They're just using this. And you'll see we're approaching the Disneyland Resort, which is right here. So it's just, you're only adding a couple minutes onto your time walking if you're staying at Paradise Pier versus Disneyland Hotel. It's really um, not a long walk at all. Okay, so basically once you get, you see these fencing right up here. Um, once you get down this road, then and on the right, there's the uh, check-in, or uh, security check, which I can't film. So, um, and then you're through the gate and you're in downtown Disney and then you walk to either park. So, not a long walk at all. I mean, there's the, let me walk over here so I can show you guys. Paradise Pier from right here. There's Paradise Pier. So, nice. Nice walk, especially if the weather's good. It's actually a pleasant walk. So it's been actually really hot for us here. It seems like whenever we come to Disneyland, it's either cold and wet or it's really hot. <laughs> it's kind of one or the other. We barely ever get just pleasant weather. So um, at night, it's really comfortable though. There is an Alamo car rental place in here. We weren't sure if it was open. Um, you know, it wasn't open when we walked past it before, but the hours are on there. I could have swore we walked past during those hours. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it lit, but there is an Alamo here um, if you want to rent a car. Yeah, um, and some more signage up there to let you know. There's an ATM over here. Oh, and there's a fuel, fuel rod charging station over here. And it's the same price as in Disney World, about $30 for a full fuel rod. They have a nice map here to help you kind of find your way around. And then they do have the events on the board, as there aren't any more today. But um, I think it's at either one or one thirty. they have like a little pool party up by the pool at this resort. And then they do do movies outside, but they're at the Disneyland Resort, so you walk over there to do the outside movies. Okay. Fitness center's upstairs, and we can't go to the Beachcombers Club because that's in the concierge level. And there's a business center and guest laundry upstairs. Okay, so it looks like the business center has been closed because we have this little sign saying business center services available at front desk. So I guess if you need to fax something or whatever, you go to the front desk now. Um, here's the fitness center though. I dig the door, I like the Mickey. This is a 24 hour a day fitness center. There is a young lady working out in there and I don't wanna go in and film her so <laughs> but um it's it's on the small side but um you know it's nice that it's open 24 hours and everything uh you do need a room key to access it further down the hall past the fitness center is laundry there's like a little sign here it says guest laundry and i guess this is it <laughs> just keep going just keep going <laughs> oh yeah it's right in front of us those long narrow hallway. Kind of reminds me of like Willy Wonka or something. 
And this is also open 24 hours. What's going on? And just a nice little laundry room. I've got their little TV up here to tell you everything going on in the park. Got your washers, all your detergents. This is all credit card only. So don't be bringing cash. These machines will not take them. I just noticed these Mickey lamps um, at each of the uh, elevator banks on each floor. Okay, so we still need to show you guys the um, vending rooms. There was one near our room, right? Yeah. The carpeting has got starfish and sand dollars on it. Yeah, right here. So they're kind of just randomly around. But ice and vending, and you do need your key to get into these. And they're on every floor. Oh, and they're dark. <laughs> okay, they have the smart lights that turn on when you walk in. So they've got water and Coke products and some tea. And how much are they? Mm -hmm. It doesn't say. Maybe if you touch a button or something, it'll say. Just set to swipe your card. 40, okay. <laughs> Coca Cola, Coca Cola. Nothingness. 40, it says it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit in there. <laughs> it's not so, oh, there we go, 225. All right. For a can. For a can. So, what is it for a bottle? 350. Okay. And then here's your ice, and there's a trash here, just in case you need it. As we're walking back to our room, there's like a little viewing area at the end of the hall. So, we just passed our room. But I want to look at this. <laughs> so, we're walking towards it. Emergency exit only. This door locks behind you. Access to the ground floor only. So if you step uh, out, you're gonna have you're to gonna, Yeah, you're gonna have to walk all the way down. So you can't go out here and just look. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> so right when you get off the elevator on the third floor, you'll see these big doors to the pool. Sunshine! And nice big sign here letting you know the hours. And the rules. You do need your key to access the pool. So keep that in mind. So here is the pool deck and the pool. And there is a slide, which is separate from the main pool. So this is the kind of slide where it's literally just a slide. It doesn't slide into a pool, it slides down to like a base instead of into a pool, which I guess that's kind of cool. It's a little bit safer, I guess, than having people in front, you know, potentially in the way of whoever's getting at the end of the pool, or at the end of the slide. And there's a little kiddie pool right by, beside it. The pool is super small. It is a small pool. I was kind of surprised by the size of it. They do provide life jackets, life preservers. Oh, and here's the hot tub too. It's really hot out right now, so I'm kind of surprised anybody be in it. <laughs> it's like 89 degrees out Fahrenheit. Um, and they do provide towels. There's, there's towels available here, and uh, so you can pick up and, and leave here. Towels. There's stairs on the other side of the pool that take you down to the parking lot, <laughs> which we I've thought. Never seen anything like yeah, that. that's kind of. We were surprised. We're like, where do these go? I'm like, oh, just to the parking lot. The parking garage, I guess, technically. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take you guys down to the sandbar now, which is the pool bar. There's some more seating out here. On the way down to the pool bar. And we actually, on the day we checked in, the room wasn't quite ready yet, so we went over to the pool bar. I had a lemonade and Jimmy had a sangria, and we had a nice conversation with the cast member, uh, cast member Daniel about uh, the expo. And then our room was ready and we left. <laughs> but there's um, nice comfy couch type seating over here and also dining tables. You can see there's salt and pepper on all of them and um, silverware and stuff because they do serve food out here at the bar. And they have all these tents set up and I'm guessing that's for more seating or if there's like a party or something, an event. Um, but there's no events right now. So there's no tables or seating out. But here's the bar, here's the sand bar. Hi! Hi. It's nice and pleasant. Actually, it's really cool over here because there's a nice breeze. And they do have water sitting out too. Oh, and there are washrooms.
washrooms, I believe, on the other side of this? Yes. So the washrooms are by the sandbar. And I think that actually the menu for the sandbar was like right at the, I could have gotten one from up there, but I think it'd be easier to show you guys it on the little placard they have over here. Like right when you walk over to the pool, they kind of list all the food you can get at the sandbar. Because I think some people don't notice it. They see the pool and they go straight for it and then they don't see the bar because it's kind of off to the side. There's some more seating over here. So plenty of seating, more here. Here is the menu for the sandbar. Just kind of, kind of what I was expecting over at the, the lounge. And then found out that that actually has a full menu. <laughs> um, so there's just a good little variety here. They've got some salads and burgers and taco platter and stuff and fries. So you can have a little meal out by the pool. Okay, so that's it for Paradise Pier Hotel. It's not a big resort. So there wasn't as much to film as, say, Animal Kingdom Lodge, which took two videos <laughs> to show you everything. Uh, Jimmy noticed this. What did you notice? <laughs> it's the, the soda pop and the, the vending machine is cheaper quite a bit, actually, than in the park and in the gift shop. In the gift shop downstairs. So, so. <laughs> just to keep in mind, I, I usually think it's going to be the other way around. That the vending machine is going to be more. We found out it's almost 50 cents cheaper, right? For a soda in the vending machine. Maybe they just haven't fixed, changed the prices in the vending machine yet. I don't know, but it was cheaper. So now we're, no, we're like, we're just gonna go to the vending machine then. <laughs> um, thoughts on the hotel. The beds are comfortable. I had no, there's, I'm sleeping fine. Yeah. You? you? It's, uh, um, comfort wise, you know, this. I think this is the only ho Disney hotel that we can hear Siren. Yeah, that's true. We, we can hear traffic. We can hear we kind of hear sirens quite a bit actually um, You get used to it though. <laughs> yeah. uh, It takes a little while getting used to it, but you do like you're in Disney and you hear sirens and it's it's strange at first But then you do get used to it um, The staff's all been really friendly mm -hmm. um, It's convenient like I was saying earlier I thought it was gonna be a longer walk to downtown Disney in the parks, but it really isn't that bad at all of a walk. Uh, the fastest way to get to Disneyland is to walk over to the monorail, take the monorail the rest of the way, and then yes. to come back, take the monorail back. Um, and we, we have been walking over to Grand California and kind of walking through Grand California to get into Cali California Adventure Park. I don't know if Disney likes that or not, but <laughs> but we've been doing that because it's faster than going all the way around through downtown Disney. Um, but if you want to walk through downtown Disney to look around, you know, then go that way. Mm -hmm. um, I like this hotel, but I feel like it definitely needs a okay. facelift. Yeah. Facelift, yeah, it needs some TLC. It's it's feeling run a little run down, not crazy because Disney wouldn't let let it be that bad and and still run out rooms. But it, it's it definitely needs some attention. Um, and actually, one of the cast members we were talking to right after the expo ended, well, the last day of the expo actually. Um, he was kind of <laughs> who works here. He was kind of bummed out because he thought they were going to announce. An update for this hotel and they did not and uh he was like it really needs attention so even even at least one guest member we talked to who, who works here is like show some love to paradise pier <laughs> so um i bet that's probably on disney's checklist probably. like yeah. it's probably there and they're just waiting for the right time to do it or um it has to be it's just kind of gotten to the point now where you can tell this hotel has aged a bit and um, just needs a bit of a refresher. And they're doing that till like all the resorts in Disney World. They're like mm -hmm. going one by one like through them and, and cleaning them up and, and making changes to them. So I can see that happening to this hotel. But it's still a nice place to stay even with that attention needed. It's still nice and clean. It's still very much Disney. It's still extremely convenient to the parks and everything. So we do like it, but now that we've stayed at every Disneyland resort, which I say every, like there's a bunch of them, there's three. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, my favorite is the Disneyland Hotel. Yeah. I, um, I just love that hotel. We we just like the uh, the ambiance um, and the price point. Mm -hmm. um, just everything taken into consideration. Uh, yeah, comfort and ambiance wise, I I would I wouldn't say that is necessarily uh, less than or below Grand Californian, it's just different. It's just different, right. Like, 
it's definitely more affordable than <laughs> Californian, yeah. and we like that. Um, but it's the first Disneyland resort I stayed at uh, because it was the only one when it, <laughs> when I when I stayed there. There's so I'll, I'll admit that plays a part in it. But um, I like the layout of it. I like the different towers. Mm -hmm. um, I love Trader Sam's. Mm -hmm. So I we go to Trader Sam's even when we're not staying at that resort. So. Um, and I really like Goofy's Kitchen. So the fact that it's got my like favorite bar and my favorite character meal place on property kind of seals it for me. <laughs> um, so in com in comparison, um, Bar Paradise Pier doesn't have as m m as many places to relax and enjoy. Right. Uh, and it's hotel. less relaxing. Yeah. yeah. Less relaxing. It's more um, it's more of a moderate feel uh, versus the Disneyland. You know, I, and this is going to sound weird, but I almost, it almost feels like a value resort to me. It's not, it's not. They have turned down service, okay? Yes, and valet parking. Valet <laughs> and turn down service. But when you compare it to the Disneyland Hotel and the Grand Californian, it feels like a value resort. Right. When you're comparing it to Disney World. So, and it is the, the least expensive of the three. So that makes sense. Yes. Um, so you know, if you're a budget oriented, and um, you and you need to, you feel like you need to stay on property. <laughs> yep. This is the better yep. place to stay. Yep. Yeah, you'll still get all that awesome Disneyness, and you'll have the super convenience of being on property, and you'll have the early park access and all that jazz. Um, we may do another video talking about uh, the resorts around Disney the hotels Land, around uh, that aren't that all are off property yeah because uh, we've stayed at like three different hotels off property here before they are great selections yeah. uh, if you if 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 you are even more if you're budget oriented and you don't you don't care uh, as much as 24 7 Disney, Disney all the time Disney yeah all the time then there are uh, definitely uh, options. Yeah, more even more affordable options yeah. and you know I will say too that if they remodel this hotel like if they you know, start to go to each floor and completely, you know, reimagine this hotel or whatever, I'll totally stay here again mm -hmm. so that I can see how it's changed um, and see if it feels as, you know, different than it does this time. Um, and I just love seeing how, how hotels are differ from, from generation to generation, you know, like 10 years and 10 years and 10 years, right. like how they change. Like the, the Grand Floridian changed since the first time we stayed there. There's talk that they're going to remodel it again. So it's going to change again. And it's kind of cool going back and seeing the changes that have been made to the resorts. Right. So I would be totally on board staying here again if they remodel it. All right. So, uh, I think that's everything. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Go ahead and pop them down below. I'll, I'll read them. Jim will read them, and he'll let me know if you see, if you ask a question and I didn't see it, and I'll answer it. Um, please subscribe if you liked the video. We'd appreciate it. Uh, come pretty soon now, another month or two. I'll be having videos regularly. Um, and I'm gonna try to hit all those other resorts that I haven't been at yet. I'm also gonna try to do some more Universal videos because I don't have a lot of those. I know that, and I'm gonna fix that. Okay. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.